Yeah, it's almost perfect anyway, isn't it? He doesn't realize how happy I am. I mean, with things the way they are. Give him some time. Tell me that this is okay. Yep, I think that's it. Just go, you look at the beach. Here. Take a sip. Well, it's been kind of a rough day. Both emotionally and physically. Yeah, it has been. You know, I think I'm going to hate myself for saying this. I think I like the chair where we had it before. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll give you a break. We'll wait until Tony comes out from his massage and then he can help us decide. He should be included in everything. That's a good idea. Especially now. Tanya? What? Why especially now? Um, well, have you had some talks with him lately? Yeah. So from the way you say that, it sounds like you know why I say especially now. I think so. Not that you have to tell me anything, of course. No. But I think I know what you're going through. But it's unimportant what I'm going through. And I want him to realize that. I understand him. It's tough. Right, for him, but not me. And I can't convince him of that. Oh, I know, I tried. Frisco, it was so much easier before when we were both working together and trying to get his voice back and, and his ability to walk. But now we're in a whole different area and he feels like he's failing me. And it's just causing a whole lot of strain and it doesn't have to. Tanya, I think like a man. I understand him. I don't want to hurt him. I love him too much. No matter what. Yeah. You just can't get that across to him, huh? Yeah, not so far. Oh, I hope you don't think that I'm betraying him by talking like this. No. No, I don't. No. But the whole thing is just causing so much pressure. And I don't know what to do about it. Just give it time. You know, I, I keep telling him that. Keep that thought. together for a little while longer. I don't know, but I've got mixed feelings about Jerry Danger. Because I think he's good with his kids. Oh, you mean with Mike? Yeah. He's kind of uptight sometimes, you know. That's the kind of guy he is. I don't think he's that great with kids either. Oh, well, he's totally being helpful because he's good. Well, I, for one, could use another splash for your roast beef. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just push this chair back. Mm -hmm. I mean... Yeah, yeah, you can. Okay. Don't you move. I'll put the plate up for well, you. In return, I'm going to wash dishes, okay? Whoa, what a deal. Oh, you like to do dishes, you come downstairs for dinner whenever you want. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, who wants some nice tea, huh? Uh, please. Uh, yeah, okay. me too. Me too? All right. All right. All right. Mm. Why don't you start doing dishes, huh? No. <laughs> oh, the first real party we have with everybody. Yeah, it's Seth Grant. Sure, Felicia. She ought to be here, too. Well, I'll be seeing her later, so I'll tell her all about it. Thanks. Oh, uh, anybody else want some iced tea? 
Why don't you fill them up there, okay, Terry? We've got a little toast we got to make here. Oh, yeah, wait for me. Hold on a second. There you go, Josh. This is the best roast beef, mm. Bobby. Mm. Thank you. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Okay, okay, there you go. Here you go, honey. Eat up. Much more. Okay. Now, for the toast. First, we are going to toast... Excuse me. Bobby and Jake. Ah, uh, Jake uh, is going to be very disappointed he missed this. For creating such a wonderful place for all of us good friends to live. Here, here. Here, here. And also, I would like to make a toast to my brother Tony and his lovely wife Tanya, mm -hmm. so that they may have a happy, beautiful life here in their new home. What do you say? Mm -hmm. here, 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 here. And here's to the absent Jake and our missing tenant, Dr. Glad Andrews. <laughs> 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 